know what I'm going to do, I can save you $800,000 in the bank. to be a better house, my man. Them teeth out. Yeah, Tell me about your condition, you know. Why are you living here like this? Injury again, and a light post that turn over with me. In Yalas, St. Thomas. A place named Grand Stain. It was a power line, we were building them up. So this thing they call the satellite station. How long ago was that? I know sometime about 50, 56, 57. When I get the x ray from the hospital, the doctor was talking about some organs and muscles and things like those that broke up. I can't even remember the number, but I could have remember him say one in the lumbar muscle. A spine, a sickness. The doctor resigned me from working, not to go back on any. Not to leave going at least. Not even to go up on a step. Did you get a disability payoff? No, mommy. Until now, it was a man named, a Chinese man named Mr. Chang, yes. Ernest Chang, at Max 11, 128. So you were a contractor, not necessarily a JPS and staff worker? No, no, not really. It was a contractor for JPS. But we do JPS work. But I used to work with JPS. From the doctor, I say, grave, grave situation. He admit me to the hospital and a physiotherapy. And then I've been seeing blood coming all out over my foot here and then this. If you look here, you see a spot here right somewhere here, man. It just broke, it broke out one time and bleed over a basin pan of blood. Just bleeding out and that. I realized that leg, leg draw down. So where were you living? I was living at 15 C Yark Avenue. Of the park road. So how do you uh, end up here? Well, it's here I'm originated from, you know, mommy, go school, Chapitan. So it's since the accident, you couldn't work in Kingston anymore, and you came uh, back here? I'm going to come back because my family, some family relation here with me. We have to get some attendance, like, <laughs> and I'll come with them. But now, there's another difference with the family places and things. I got here from my own. So it you was, build this? Back yes, then. I build this little ranch here, but storm come and drop a coconut tree somewhere off here, right in it and drop it up. What storm it did, was that? I think it was the last storm on me. It was live on. Live on? Ah, Gilbert somewhere. During that time you were still in here? Yeah, man. But it wasn't like this. I used to let it clean every weekend, clean, polish and things like that. But from the tree dropping, water has everything exposed, as you can see. Hard zinc come off of it and just can't help myself anymore now. <laughs> so how do you survive? Well, as you know, mommy, some little friend. I have a little bird in stand up with me so well. I can't give him no other credit but him. He cook, and the only team don't do me is wash and things on me. And now little lady don't is kind of has to see me all the time. That's how I survive. I have a brother. He's living in town too. Actually, in the same position because he must go to go Cuba go take all the operation and come back. Can I help him? <laughs> so you don't have any other relatives can mm. help you? Well, yeah, that's just about the same amount of their own. Can't take any more either. So I'm going to just stay out and stand by. Did you have any other relatives that could help you? Yeah, my mother, my father, and my brother. Your mother, your father, and your brother. Yeah, my mother, my father, and my 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 brother. Picking. But me just give thanks for me, but uh, that's not really the life. You know, sometimes you know. <laughs> sometimes you think I do you know, man, I tell you. Not easy. You, you know, some of you can save you $100,000 in the bank even to build a better house, man, and them teeth you out. 
take who, it who away. stole it? I don't know that the, the bank manager tell me. Oh, it must have because. What have you? I mean, I just left it. When I started that account, you know, mommy, it was penny. Penny a bank for me to go to school. <laughs> Till I come up and start work and I start to save bigger money now. And that's how I get to save my money there. Over some 40, 50 years. So, where is the bank book? That was it, ma'am. I carry back the bank book, they scan it and say they don't need the bank book anymore. They're going to give me something like a chip or, or something like that I can collect some money or continue with my account. When I go back the other week to get the recognition they take, the lady they say to the scanning is not there. I ask her, when is she coming back? They don't know. One of the ladies said to me, if I had had the bank book, she could have it here. So why but they took the bank book? It's me to it, you know, because she said, no, no, it's not reliable again. It's not have no more use. So I just don't be seeing the beam coming out. <laughs> and my goodness, it was the same thing probably how I get it from. And that's how it goes, you know, I couldn't bother worry no more. So the house that is being constructed yes, next to you. Um, who is it that is doing this house now? And my brother see the condition and come and tell the people they're not foreign. And then say, well, no, my uncle can't see like that. <laughs> he helped me so well when he used to work and make me go to school and so on. You try and start up something there for you. And that's how it goes. What would it take to finish this house now? It needs a top and a flooring. Well, the door and the windows also include, but they would have come after the top and the, the floor. And that's it. So you need help to finish it? Yeah, ma'am. Pretty much. Because I'm trying to sell this and this more the little land in here. See if I can do it now. I can't even get my buyer. So how, how long now have they started it? Well, um, we started sometime last year, coming up to December. That's how oh, children I'm saying have Christmas this morning for me, and the brother take it on. Oh, so you just need some help now to yes, finish this so you can yes. move over. Yes.